Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, so today we're going to be unboxing the December treasure box from Potomac Beads. So this is a monthly subscription box for those of you who don't know. Um, they have actually two different boxes you can choose. So this is the treasure box, which is just a collection of beads. Um, and then they also have another box which comes with patterns three kits um, and with the instructions and the materials to make three projects. But this is the box that is just, um, they, they put together a collection, a themed collection of beads each month. And it's always a surprise and it's always very fun to look at and see what, what we get. So this is for December. So I'm hoping, I mean, they usually do kind of seasonal um, themes. So I'm hoping for a a seasonal theme. I'm kind of hoping for a winter theme, but let's see um, what it is. Okay. Winter luminescence. This sounds promising. Um, bold and bright lights glow up above a pristine blanket of shimmering snow. Soft pearlescent angels hover in every storefront vignette downtown. This month's treasure box features merry and bright colors of Czech glass, as well as a touch of snow white that marks the winter holiday season. Create festive holiday jewelry with a basic stringing technique reminiscent of popped corn and cranberries on an evergreen tree. And build your own cozy atmosphere that is perfect for creating memories with friends and family. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, just at first look, yeah, I see a lot of reds, greens, whites, but I also see some orange. So it's actually quite, I think it's going to be quite colorful, maybe. I don't know. Let's have a, I'll take everything out and we'll have a look. Okay, so I have taken everything out of their bags except for um, some of the findings here. Uh, so when you get your your little piece of paper in your box. It has the inventory of everything that you're getting. And this list looks quite long this month. It looks a little longer than it sometimes is. Um, so we're getting lots of goodies. And you can see just looking at the layout here, you do have your kind of cooler wintry colors, but then you also have your bright, brighter colors. So um, you know, they, they mentioned like twinkling lights on snow and that's kind of what I'm seeing here. Um, so I'll just run through everything quickly. So here we have some, um, stringing cord. Um, so this, you would just literally put your beads on, um, crimp the ends, you know, put a clasp and you're done. Uh, so this is, uh, great stuff. And then you also get with it, um, what's called a bead stopper, which is a little spring that you, uh, you spring it like that. And when you have your strand and you're stringing your uh, beads on and you don't want them to fall off, you just clip it on. It's kind of a stops the ones that you've strung on one end from falling off the other end. So, uh, that's a really useful little, um, little device to have in your toolkit so you'll get one of those as well um, mine was tucked in here so if you can't find it in your box maybe maybe just check um, that it's not kind of tucked into the back of your of your beading cable okay um, then we get this cool wooden cutout um, which is laser cut and um, you know this would be really you don't even need to bead that actually. It's very, very pretty if you just put a bow or something, but it'd be fun to bead around the edge or something, or you could even just put some glitter glue or something on it, um, paint it. You know, you don't have to use this for beading. I'm actually looking at these little sections here and wondering if maybe a gem duo would fit in there. Um, so that's kind of a fun little thing to play with for for the holidays. Um, and then here we have these, what they're calling, um, I think they're calling them, yeah, check glass angel wings. So they're kind of a, 
curved bead, like an arc, um, with just one hole. So yeah, you could use them either this way up or that way up, depending on, you know, how your angel is. I guess probably you'd do that. Put a little bead at the head and a little skirt. You know, you could even use like a little lucite flower. So um, you get a whole strand of that. I mean, these would be nice just in a regular um, bracelet or necklace anyway, because they're kind of kind of a cool shape. Um, <clears throat> okay, and then we've got, um, these are check glass rounds, uh, six millimeter. So it's kind of a mix. Well, is it though? I know they all have a swirl. It's just some of them have a much more purple swirl than some of them are almost clear and just have a little, a little tiny bit in there. So, um, kind of a nice lavender, light wintry color. Those are quite interesting for, um, <clears throat> six millimeter rounds. And then I'm very excited about these. Yeah. <laughs> these are, uh, the spike beads, check glass spike beads. They just have a hole at the bottom. But, I mean, can you imagine how fun it would be to make uh, a snowflake or something? Or, I mean, they kind of almost look like icicles hanging down or, like, teeth. <laughs> um, I have always wanted to have some of these, and I've never actually bought any because, you know, I have too many beads. Um, so I'm very excited to get some spike beads. Um Okay, these are absolutely gorgeous. These are called Czech Pearl Petals. They're 22 millimeters and they string through the side here at the top, you can see. Aren't these beautiful? They're, they're absolutely gorgeous. So you get three of those. I mean, one of these would just make such a stunning earring you could you could string through and then have a drop coming down oh absolutely gorgeous i love these and all three of them together are just wow um the shape is just beautiful um and then these are hmm. trying to figure out what these are on the list they're check glass. Um, they're just so pretty. So they have a kind of swirly pattern on them, as you can see. And they have a little bit of an AB finish, like inside of the swirl, which I doubt the camera's going to pick up, but it's there. I mean, these remind me of snowflakes. These are so pretty. I love these. Really, really nice. And you get quite a lot of those. Um, then we get a 10 millimeter crystal Rivoli uh, in a nice, whoops, lovely blue color. Um, so that would be super nice for a little centerpiece for something. Um, then we get two strands of the um, fire polish beads. Um, so I've got a green and a blue. Uh, these are the four millimeter. Um, we get some Czech Christmas trees. So I got two different colors here. Uh, so one is a light green with a kind of iridescent, the same kind of iridescent in the holes. Um, as the, the white beads that I showed you. And then the other is a dark, slightly darker, more like a jade green with um, a gold finish inside it. So I got two of each of those. So those would make really cute earrings or something, you know, just a quick little project. Uh, we get some nice green Ava beads. Um, these are two hole beads. Well, technically three hole, but uh, you can string through this way or this way so there's like two sort of holes there um, and they fit together in all kinds of cool ways as well you could probably make a cute little christmas tree motif just stacking them up actually like that um, so those are kind of fun 
Um, then we have these Czech glass twist beads, which are in red, gre red green, and white. Um, and they're just, you just get five of those. So they would make a good little accent, you know, on a, on a necklace or something, or, I mean, they'd make really cute little earrings, actually. Um, I love the shape of these. So I just love touching them. <laughs> um, okay, and then you get a huge bag, which is a Czech glass mix, which has all kinds of things in it. Like, like here's a little, little kind of flat drop. I've got, um, I've got dagger beads in here, it's different colors. I've got rounds, I've got big fire polish beads. I've got these little white, I don't know, kind of shaped, um, almost like a little flower or like a little snowflake or something. So you get all kinds of different, and yeah, there's another type of dagger. Um, here's a really neat one, uh, kind of eight-sided um, bead. So yeah, you just get a whole mix of different beads which is always really fun. Um, these are great for like adding into bead embroidery for a little bit of um, variety, you know. Um, so that is such a big bag. I can't believe you get all that. <laughs> um, okay, and then here, I love these. We get a strand of two millimeter pearls. Um, I kind of hoard two. I, I'm always scared to use my two millimeter pearls because I love them so much and I'm scared I'm going to run out, which is ridiculous because I could just buy more. But um, yeah, so we get these lovely like pale green two millimeter glass pearls, which I'm obviously in love with. Um, here we have some four millimeter rounds, um, you know, jet glass rounds. Um, in a kind of another light green, kind of matches with the pearl. And then these are, I think these are Czech rondel nuggets, possibly. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think these are Czech rondel nuggets. So they're kind of they're kind of like a slightly spiky shape. Uh, they, you know, they kind of spike up and down, but they're kind of rounded as you can see, but so, um, and they're gorgeous, rich red color. Very interesting. I've never seen, again, something I've never seen before. <laughs> and then I'm very excited this month we get a tube of 11 O's. And these are the silver lined ruby, which is Miyuki number 11, which is my favorite red to use for the holidays. Um, there's number 10 is a slightly uh, lighter, it's flame red. And this is the ruby red, which is my favorite. Okay, then moving on, we've got these orange um, Czech rondelles, Czech smooth rondelles, which are almost, um, slightly donut shaped. They kind of have a little indention in the top and the bottom. So um, they could maybe be little lights or something, you know, it's what they remind me of. Or donuts. <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, then we get a cool slide clasp. So this is a uh, three hole, you know, you can attach. So the way this works, if you don't know already, it just slides open like that. So you have your bracelet attached to the three things and you just slide it in and it's kind of, um, it kind of clicks into place, it has this little spring thingy here. So it just clicks into place. Um, so a nice silver slide clasp, which is always Always useful. I always need clasps. Um, get a pair of earrings that have a, a little shell motif on the front of them. Hope you can see that through the bag. The little seashell motif. So these are lever backs. I have a few um, customers that 
always request lever backs because it you know they don't want to risk losing their earring um, and lever backs stay in your ear a little better um, and then I have customers that don't like lever backs so <laughs> uh, then we also have some spring clasps and these are rose gold um, plated color which is very cool I don't think I have any rose gold clasps so uh, and you get five of those it looks like and then we also get some rose gold little spacer beads, little metal spacer beads, um, which are very cute. I would say those are maybe two and a half millimeters, really small, slightly bigger than the pearl, but yeah, they're not, I don't think they're three millimeter. Um, they're a little bit slightly thinner stringing length wise than they are wider. Um, so yeah, that's everything that comes in the box this month. Uh, I mean, this is a lot of stuff. This seems like more than usual. <laughs> um, so I'm very excited. I can't wait to use these. I'm so drawn to this, this side. Um, but I also am really excited to kind of dig through here and see what else I can find in here. Oh, there's a little cube. Um, and, uh, yeah, all of these beads are great. So I will put the link down below um, if you want more information about both of the subscription boxes and pricing and all that stuff. Um, and otherwise, I will see you in the next video. So take care for now. Have a great day. Bye.